I love the idea of using your smartphone for doing really like high-end productivity tasks, things you wouldn't normally do on a mobile device like editing a video for instance. In fact, almost a full calendar year ago, I posted this video where I explained and showed off shooting and editing an entire vlog on my Z Fold 2. So I filmed it on the camera, then I jumped into Dex. I grabbed my file, jumped into Power Director, and did my edit there exported it and then I showed you the end result of how that looked and I think it actually turned out pretty good actually. So today we're going to do something different but also in the similar kind of vein on Surface Duo 2. This was inspired by a post here on Reddit by Multicallum where they sideloaded Premiere Rush onto their Surface Duo and they're editing on there. And if you look at that picture there this looks pretty good. So I'm going to show you an editor that I like to use on my Duo 2 when I need to quickly touch up a video. And then we're going to try to sideload this and I'll walk you through that process and we'll see if it looks or works any better. So the first editor that we're going to look at is one called CapCut. It's relatively uh, recent in terms of its release and I think it works really, really well on Surface Duo or Duo 2 for that matter. So let's jump to the overhead camera here first. Let's take a look here at CapCut. You're gonna see the name there, ByteDance. This is actually by the same people, I believe ByteDance is the same people that do TikTok. So take that for what it's worth. Maybe you don't wanna use it because of that, but at any rate, there it is. Let's go ahead and open it and let's open up a project and you can see what it looks like normally, right? This is fine, this is whatever. If you rotate it, you're gonna get a similar experience, but that's a really small viewfinder. But what happens if you span this bad boy and then, importantly here, see this little guy down here, this little refresh symbol? Click on that and let it reload. Go back into your thing here. And boy, oh boy, you've got a big old image up there of what you're editing. And everything pretty much just sits exactly where you would want it to sit. You can scrub through this. You can add different effects. You've got tons of different stuff going on down here. And that is, honestly, a really, really good experience. Perhaps... Perhaps I will do a similar video where I shoot a vlog and edit it on here and do something like that. Maybe you guys would like to see that. Maybe you wouldn't. But maybe you're thinking to yourself, hey, that looks pretty good. But what about Premiere Rush? Maybe Premiere Rush is better. So now let's find an APK for that because, unfortunately, it's not in the Play Store. I guess I can show you that as well. Let's jump back over here. Let's go home. Let's jump into the Play Store and let's search for Premiere Rush and you will see that it is simply not available to you. So what you're going to have to do is jump into your web browser and let's search for Premiere Rush APK Mirror because that's probably where we're going to find it. And of course it spelled Premiere wrong even with voice to text. So let's go into APK Mirror and this is what the website's going to look like. If you see this, then you're on the right trail. Let's scroll down to the bottom. Let's pick this most recent one. Let's click download. Scroll down again. We're going to do the one that says no DPI. It just seems to be the one that works better in my experience. And let's click download APK. This thing has now downloaded. Let's click OK to let it continue. And now that it's done, let's go ahead and install. Now, if when you open up that APK, if you've never done this before side loading, you may get a thing popping up saying, hey, Edge or your web browser is trying to install an app. Do you want to allow it? You, tuck, you tick that box or toggle it rather, go back and do it again and it should install just fine. Let's go ahead and open it. And now, looky there, we are now running. Let's sign in with Google, I guess. And we've opened up a piece of media. And this is already probably better in this mode just because this viewfinder is so much larger. But let's go ahead and span it. And sadly, no matter what you do, this thing is just not going to rotate. This app just simply does not allow itself to be rotated. But thankfully, on that same Reddit thread, there was a comment asking about this. Hey, how are you forcing this thing to rotate? And the original poster said they went to the Play Store and downloaded another app called Screen Rotation Control, which I'm guessing is this one. That is the exact same name. And this should allow us to force this app to rotate. So there you go. And at that point, you know, this is looking pretty decent and it looks pretty much like what we've got there in his screenshot. All I did in case uh, you need to see this is I selected auto here. And then when I spanned it, 
it actually did allow itself to be rotated. Now, I don't know how this app is in terms of feature set and so forth. I've not taken the time to use it, but it does appear to be pretty uh, complete in terms of features. I don't know how the performance is either. CapCut has been very uh, solid in my use. You're gonna have to decide, is it worth running another app? Perhaps you can find another better third-party app that looks a little less janky. Maybe there's some fewer ads there to actually force the thing to rotate. I would probably just say the simpler answer is to go to the Play Store and grab CapCut and span it. It works supremely well, just straight out of the box. We could do one quick comparison here. Let's go ahead and do the export here. And we'll see how long this does take. It's flippy flopping around like a crazy person, but here it is. It is, it is outputting and this is on Premiere Rush. So we'll see how long this takes here and then we'll do the same thing on CapCut and perhaps we can compare maybe Premiere Rush is just way more efficient and way faster. So there you go, there is your output. Let's go back into CapCut and let's export it as well. And to me, it appears that CapCut is actually faster as well in addition to being, in my opinion, a bit of a better interface and not requiring a secondary app to make it work. So, but you know, look, maybe you pre prefer Maybe you prefer Premiere Rush, maybe you don't. At any rate, there are a couple of great options in terms of mobile video editing on your Surface Duo 2 and in a way that I think makes it superior to most other devices because you have that dual screen layout. It's like having a dual monitor editing setup with your like a full screen of what you're seeing there on the right and then your edit on the left or something like that. It's really, really good. It works really well. Thanks to Multicalum for giving me the inspiration for this video. Premiere Rush does look quite cool, although I do think I'm gonna stick with CapCut. Let me know what you guys think below. Do you ever edit videos on your phone? Am I a crazy person? Is Multicalum a crazy person? Let me know. I'll see you next time, and until then, stay nerdy, my friends.